A number of foundation deposits were discovered at Tel al Balamun by the British Museum expedition. In the main temple, which was rebuilt at different periods, three deposits of Sheshonk III and one of Neknebef of the 30th dynasty. The first deposit of Sheshonk to be found lay in the sand bed of the second pylon, and at the northwest corner were the following items. Plaques when removed, the one at the bottom right bears an inscription of an official named Hor. Here it is again. The calcite hemidisc also was inscribed with his name. Another view of the group as it was found in the foundation sand. And besides the plaques and the brick there was also pottery. At the rear of that side of the pylon there was only one object left a hemidisc inscribed for Hor. At the southeast side, the deposit was deep in the water which had to be bailed out and comprised the following. Here are the plaques and other objects from the southeastern side of the pylon. Here we have a plaque with an inscription with a royal cartouche, that of King Sheshonk III. And again shown here, and in more detail here again. The pottery was well down in the subsoil water and after extraction had to be reconstructed. At the northeast side of the pylon no deposit was recovered a large column drum had been dumped in the sand there. At the rear of the temple was the deposit of Neknebef. Here is the group in the sand as found. This is the group of the Neknebef deposit. Many of the plaques were inscribed with the royal name. Here is a gold one, Kepachara, and again the reverse side, which has Neknebef, together with some of the other plaques. Neknebef also built a smaller temple, from the back of which two deposits were found. These again were in the foundation sand bed and comprised the following. This deposit included a fine cartouche plaque and model brick inscribed on both sides with the royal names. There were also some plaques with uninscribed cartouches and a piece of bitumen, together with two quartzite model grindstones. The deposit at the south side had been disturbed and few items were found. On this side there was only a corroded copper plaque and a piece of bitumen and one example of a quartzite grindstone. Four deposits were found in the small temple of Samtik I, three in the pylon and one at the rear. This is the sand bed of the pylon. At the northwest corner were the following. Deposit of the northeast, the hieroglyphs on the faience plaque from this deposit were very poorly executed. Another deposit came from the southeast corner of the pylon. The faience plaque here was much better in quality. 
Here it is with the group of the other plaques. Here are the two small gold plaques from the northeast and southeast corners. And the limestone mortars that were found in the deposits. In the disturbed corner at the rear of the temple, only a single copper plaque was found in a fragmentary state, inscribed Nesubit Wachabrel.